Hello, driving intelligence community. I've been driving my own intelligence lately because I've been doing some Vaveline Restore and Protect uh, videos. I'll leave the link to that in the description of this video. But I've had a lot of great comments. And what I've been doing is taking my oil filters apart to see if I have any sludge buildup as a result of using the, uh, the Vaveline Restore and Protect. Well, I just so happen to have filters from two different vehicles in my little stable here, my 1985 Mustang SVO and my 10th generation 2002 F-150. Now this filter is several years old. This one is less than a year old, 5,000 miles, maybe 1,000 miles or less. What I wanted to do is go through the, uh, the assembly of these and, and we'll look at a specific difference. There is one very specific difference between these two. Okay, here's the top. Uh, you can see that there are some holes in the top. They're somewhat similar. I don't understand why they would have uh, bigger holes on the F-150 versus the Mustang. Uh, of course, this is a four-cylinder. This is V8. That might have something to do with it uh, in terms of uh, oil flow. They both have an uh, anti-drain back valve here. Although, I wasn't going to talk about this, but there is a bit of a difference where it looks like some oil can move around us because of these little nubs on there whereas this one is a flat surface and actually when i disassembled this filter the oil there was still a significant amount of oil in the filter so it meant that this anti-drain back valve is working properly and of course you have a spring in the bottom of both of those everything else seems to be the same except for one very uh, unique feature this one is a top bypass and as you can see there's a spring there the oil bypasses at the top if you have a plug filter. This is bottom bypass, and you can see that the, the oil bypasses through this spring-activated uh, valve, again, if the filter medium gets too full. Now, I did some research, and it's because of the person that had mentioned this on one of my videos, to find out which one is better, because this person was saying one was better than the other. And I really, for the life of me, was trying to figure out why would one be better than the other. Well, let's just think about the bypass function um, out loud, and then I'll reference some information that came from uh, one of the oil filter manufacturers. So the oil comes in these outer ports. It goes across the filter medium and out the center back to the engine. Now, when these pleats get full of sludge, then the oil can't go through if it's too dirty, and the oil is going to bypass. On this filter, the oil is going to bypass through the bottom, which means the oil is going to pass across these, this filter medium and perhaps pick up some dirt and sludge that was deposited there during its normal filtration process. This one, it's going to bypass immediately at the top of the filter, so the oil is not going to be traveling across that filter medium. So, in just general terms, I would think that this would be a better filter. Now, the difference between the two in terms of installation, on the Mustang, I believe this one is straight up and down. It's a vertical filter. This one's horizontal. So there may be some reason for the bypass being designed that way based on filter orientation. I think Ford uh, had something to do with having a bottom bypass with the way their filters are installed in their engines. And just to close out, Royal Purple says that there really is no difference in benefit between a bottom bypass or a top bypass. I'm interested in hearing what any of you say out there about this, um, or if you've had some experience with this. I think it's a very interesting topic. I'd like to say that at least this Mobile One filter is, seems to be very well constructed. Uh, I kind of like the Mustang version more. It just seems more heavy duty. I really like that that bypass design there. Uh, although I'm not saying that this one's bad, but it, it just, it, maybe it's just simpler design to get a, 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 the same effect. But that is a little spring there that opens up to allow the bypass function. So love to hear your comments. Please comment down below what you think or what you've heard. And uh, I'll see you next time on Driving Intelligence.